there, welcome to today's episode where we build Purgatory Penitentiary. I'm actually super excited about this build. It is completely different from anything that I've ever done before and I plan on using it in a full length series, hopefully full length series, where I'm gonna have so many Sims and they are going to be prisoners, but I'm only gonna play as one prisoner per day and each prisoner is going to have an aspiration to work towards and once that prisoner completes all their aspirations they can be let go this challenge actually can be found um, online I honestly just googled a jail sims challenge and just kind of read through a couple different ones and now I'm just gonna kind of follow some of their rules but for the most part I'm gonna make up my own shit as I go along just kind of like how I always do you know so here we have a beautiful prison equipped with all the amenities we have everything that you would possibly need I guess to run a jail we have a full equipped bathroom a huge cafeteria area outside we have Plenty of activities for the prisoners to enjoy, including basketball, gardening, and a workout area. All right, everybody, let's get your seatbelts strapped on nice and tight. Let's go ahead and begin this build of the Purgatory Penitentiary. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did build this prison in the middle of the desert, and it is on the side of a cliff, so none of my prisoners are going to try to escape. It's only perfect. It fits. So let's begin by putting a huge fence around the whole place we're gonna make sure that the prisoners again do not try to escape they are here for life well not for life but they're kind of here for life and since it's a jail we have to have multiple doors all of those doors have to be surrounded by more barbed wire fence and all of those doors have to be super secured we have to go through and make sure that every single door in the prison is locked for everybody except for the guard. All right, so I'm going to build kind of a um, symmetrical prison. We're going to have a cell block on one side and a cell block on the other side. And then we're going to put these tiny little windows in here because we want to let light in, but nobody's allowed to see out if you catch what I'm saying. Okay, so every cool jail and prison has like this like awesome lookout tower. So I'm gonna build a couple of those. Have one in the front, have one in the back. Have these big bright lights on them. It's gonna look super cool. The tower was super simple to make. I recently just found out that you could only build four levels high. I'm not sure how I didn't know that before, but I found out when I was gonna make my tower super tall and it said I could not build past four levels. So, this is what we're going to go with. We're going to make it work with this. I mean, it looks awesome in the end. I can't really say it doesn't look good because, I mean, I think it looks good. It works. It serves its purpose. It allows Sims to look out if they want to, but not really because I didn't build stairs or do anything inside it's it's just for looks but it still looks good I never in my life will ever pretend to be good at doing roofs and I give mad props to anybody who can sit and roof the hell out of a house because it is one thing I cannot do and I've accepted that and I've moved on from that so this is the roof that we're gonna stick with. But I'm gonna add all these cute little things on top of it so it kind of makes up for the flat, boring roof, right? I don't know whether it's funny or whether it's sad that the more that I look at my prison, it kind of resembles an elementary school. And I'm not really sure how to feel about that. I'm gonna have to spice it up a little bit and try to make it look more like a prison and not so much like an elementary school. And I'm not too sure why it's giving me elementary school vibes, but it's a prison. 
It's, it's where criminals go to do hard time. It's not where kindergartners go to learn colors and shapes and all that fun stuff. But my elementary school was in a very old brick building. So it's very possible that I am just associating this brick jail with my old elementary school. And I'm not really sure how to feel about that. So when the criminals come to do their time for their crime, this is the first room that they will come to. They will get booked here and then assigned their cell and then sent on their way. Very exciting, I know. Okay, so I have to put together a skills and activity room because in order to get out of prison, you have to make yourself worthy. So you have to gain skills, you have to gain knowledge, you have to complete your aspiration, and then you'll be on your way. So since we will be controlling one prisoner per day, at a certain time during the day, that prisoner will be allowed to go and work on different activities to be able to work towards different aspirations to get the hell out of prison. Okay, so I decided to be really nice to my prisoners and their cells are actually going to be huge and each person is going to get their own room. No one's gonna have to share, no fighting, none of that fun stuff. Well, at least not yet anyways. But for right now, each sim prisoner is going to get their own room. Everybody's gonna have their own table. Everyone's gonna have their own toilet. Everyone, I will actually give everybody their own bookshelf as well. That way, if they wanna sit or and read they can sit and read that's perfectly fine I'm not gonna completely torture them or anything I wasn't sure if I was gonna mix it up and change each room and let the prisoners have different color sheets or a different color table or whatever else but I think I'm going to let their aspirations kind of decide what their room is going to look like. So if they are aspiring to be a painter, we can decorate their walls with their paintings. Can't forget to add the community bathroom, fully equipped with lots of showers and um, shampoo and conditioner and body wash and all the necessities that you need to have a successful shower. Okay, so I guess since our criminals have to eat food, we should probably put together a little cafeteria area for them. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work this. I might end up switching some stuff around, but for now we're just going to set it up like this. Maybe hire a caterer and it can work like that. If all else fails, we'll just have Officer Ava go and cook them all the meals and just do like big family servings and we'll, we'll work around it somehow. We'll find a way. We will find a way to feed our prisoners and make sure that their bellies stay nice and full. So moving on, we're going to go on the outside and I want to make sure that the outside has lots of activities that will help them with their aspirations as well and try to help them get out of prison and move on to a better life. All right, so I know a couple of our prisoners could get some good use out of a gardening area, so we will fence off this part and make it a little fancy garden. We'll go ahead and add a basketball hoop. That way we can help with fitness, staying in shape, as well as this little gym yard. We'll put all this workout equipment in here. Put some punching bags. Add some fancy little treadmills. Over to a garden. Let's add all this fancy stuff. And then we will get them a couple starter seeds just to get them going. Can't forget about our benches. In case our prisoners get tired. Okay, let's put these arrows up, let our prisoners know which way to C block, 
and which way to D-block. Finishing up the outside, I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery. I mean, I know we're in the desert and all, but let's add the finishing touches to the outside of our prison before we move into the basement area because we have to make a living area for our guards to stay in because in order to run a prison, you have to have a guard. And since the guard can't leave, we're gonna have them live in the basement. So we're just gonna make them like a little teeny tiny house that only they will have access to, and it's gonna be perfect. Fully equipped with everything that you would need for um, living in a basement. Full bathroom, full bedroom, complete kitchen, and even a little living area. It's perfect and it serves its purpose, which is to keep my guard alive, happy, and well. So this is pretty much it, you guys. This is the prison build, and I'm super excited to use this in my upcoming series involving all the prisoners. I'm excited to see where everybody's storyline is going to lead them. I'm in the process right now of creating backstories for all of the prisoners so that's why it's taken me a little bit longer to release this one but i want to make sure that it's going to be super good so and soon i will be releasing episode one that will focus on one prisoner maybe two prisoners i haven't really decided yet but either way that will be coming soon too if you would like to download this you can it is available in the gallery you can download this and all of my other awesome content and follow me as well, Torrance87. And I appreciate you guys. You are super awesome. I love you all so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.